childhood in Tennessee, runs away, New Orleans, fights, is shot, to Galveston, Nacogdoches, the Reverend Green, Judge Holden, an affray, toadbine, burning of the hotel, escape. See the child. He is pale and thin. He wears a thin and ragged linen shirt. He stokes the scullery fire. Outside lie dark turned fields with rags of snow, and darker woods beyond that harbor yet a few last wolves. His folk are known for hewers of wood and drawers of water, but in truth, his father has been a schoolmaster. He lies in drink. He quotes from poets whose names are now lost. The boy crouches by the fire and watches him. Night of your birth, 33, the Leonids, they were called. God, how the stars did fall. I look for blackness, holes in the heavens, the dipper stove. The mother dead these 14 years did incubate in her own bosom the creature who would carry her off. The father never speaks her name, the child does not know it. He has a sister in this world that he will not see again. He watches pale and unwashed. He can neither read nor write, and in him broods already a taste for mindless violence. All history present in that visage, the child, the father of the man. At fourteen, he runs away. He will not again see the freezing kitchen house in the pre-dawn dark, the firewood, the wash pot. He wanders west as far as Memphis, a solitary migrant upon that flattened pastoral landscape.